All right, finally we've reached texturing. Now um, it's uh, actually not as complicated as uh, you might think. So all I've already, well, I've already uh, drug out a blob here and um, just follow along and um, hopefully this will be a, a nice way to get your feet wet with texturing. Now I'm not gonna cover every single a combination of texturing but enough so that you have an, uh, a solid foundation to get you started. So again I have a blob here and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna need to create our material. So what we're gonna do is um, right click on anywhere in this area but I'm just gonna go under this materials folder that's already here and choose create new material and I'm gonna wanna call this something like uh, blob inside fill. Just hit enter. So we've created our material, really easy. Now what we're going to want to do is choose the correct shader. So uh, we'll go to this drop down menu here and we're going to go to rate spline and there's many options. Right now we're just going to choose textured and then we're going to want to select our texture. There's many ways to get a texture into here. You can drag and drop. I'm just going to select and then from this list I'll select one. For example, I'll select grid text 3. Now any compatible uh, image will show up here. So um, just click on that. Click OK. So we've created our material. We've chosen the shader to use and we've assigned the texture. So what do we do now? So let's just go back, click on our rate spline. Now if we go to our texture area, which is right here, you'll see two different uh, drop downs here. And it might be kind of confusing, but just uh, pretend or um, think of these as uh, material holders. So this would be our first material here. So we just go and choose fill and you'll see this little um, gizmo has shown up but nothing has really happened so what you need to do is we've chosen the fill but we still need to do a few things so you want to come down to this mesh renderer and you want to change this mesh renderer uh, the element under here from raid spline material which is the default to um, the material blob inside fill that we just created so blob inside fill, we just choose it and we can close this and you'll notice that our texture now shows up in our fill and we can quickly look at this gizmo. So this gizmo basically um, allows you to move the texture around and it also allows you to change the rotation of the texture. So this little square box that you see is just showing you what the actual texture size is. So if it's a square, it's going to show up here. So this little uh, purple region, it might be kind of hard to see, but this purple box area is the actual size of the texture. And um, you can increase that size, of course, and decrease it by dragging this handle, and you can rotate the, the texture around. So another thing to remember with texturing is that um, you can also still use all the previous commands that you had prior. So you could go and change the color. Um, it's basically like multiply in Photoshop if you've ever done that before. But you could change the color, for example, to red. And notice that now you have this red on top of this. And uh, in addition to that, you could go ahead and like do a gradient. So it's really awesome and um, amazing like some of the effects that you can get from just bringing this texture in and then using some of these other uh, fill like gradient effects. So that's basically texturing the the fill of our rate spline. So let's go ahead and now texture the the outline. So uh, so we can see this outline a little uh, or this texture a little easier. Uh, we're going to just increase this outline width. So let's just make this a little bigger. Now we're going to follow the uh, same uh, similar steps. We're just going to go and go to materials. We can right click, create new 
material. And this one I think I'll call blob uh, outline. Uh, you can call it fill too. Doesn't really matter. You can call it whatever you like, but it would be good to have something related to what you're doing. So um, we have blob outline fill. Now what I want to do is I'm going to have to again choose the correct shader. So I'll go down to Raid Spline, Textured again. Now I want to choose a texture. I'll click Select. And we'll just choose this triangle this time. We'll close it. So we've created our material and we've uh, chosen the texture shader and then we have uh, chosen the texture. So now what do we do? We click back on the object now this uh, we're gonna use the same initial material uh, and then I'll show you why you would want to use another material as well but right now we'll just go back to texturing and this time instead of fill I'm gonna choose outline now when I've chosen outline you'll notice that okay well this texture went away and I don't really see anything happening in here so uh, just to make things a little easier I'm gonna turn this gradient off too so uh, actually make it solid not none and we'll change the color back to white so that's the default kind of what we started with so we've chosen outline but notice that okay well what's going on there's no texture here well remember how I said earlier about the color um, multiplying like in Photoshop so well we have black there by default so you're not gonna see any texture here so um, if you click in here and you change it to white you'll notice wow okay there is a texture here but that's not the texture that I had before that's what, what's going on that's a texture that was inside of this fill well the reason is because we have the wrong um, material defined under these materials under the re mesh renderer so what we need to do is go back down here click here and we need to choose the right material so we call that blob outline fill. Notice now that we've chosen that, now we have the correct texture. Now in addition to this, um, if we go back up here, we can look at this texture scaling. And this texture scaling um, basically allows you to uh, affect the scale of how this texture is and how it wraps around this um, or within this outlined area. So that's all that that is. And uh, you could also use it, for example, if I change this um, outline to, not outline, this fill to, for example, landscape. I can move these pieces around here. You can see how that it curves and follows the landscape and you can adjust your scaling here and how it would wrap. So that's basically, I'll go ahead and and change that back to uh, our solid and move these points around. So, so that's basically um, texturing for the outline and for the fill. Now, the problem is, how can I do both? I, you know, when I try to do this, well, now it's moved to the inside. I, I want to be able to texture both my fill and my outline and I want to do two different textures so how would I go about doing that well it's actually we're almost pretty much done what you would need to do is go and um, first we can go down to this mesh renderer and under our materials you're gonna to want to increase this size first so go ahead and increase this to two hit enter so when I've done that, some crazy things happen. Don't worry about that. That's because of various settings that we have. So uh, I'll just can make this none right now. It really doesn't matter. I just want you to pay attention down here. So our first element, we're going to make uh, our blob inside fill. And our second, we're going to make, well, it's already our blob outline fill. So these uh, elements are basically related to these materials. Right now they're none, so you don't really have those. So we can choose fill 
for the first one and there's our texture back. And then for our second one we want our outline. So when we choose outline, there we go. So now we have our uh, triangles that we had defined in this material um, on our outline fill, which of course we can still adjust the scaling. And we also have our um, inner fill material here, which of course, again, you can change the gradient of. So, and again, also uh, remember you can change the color of your outline fill. So that's how you would be able to um, do this kind of multi-texturing in a sense. Now, uh, one little um, thing you do need to worry about here is that this is the easy straightforward way to do this multiple texturing but um, the one downside of this is uh, it's actually two draw calls. Now um, to get around this I'm not really going to discuss that but you would have to use a different type of shader. There is a I believe it's a multi textured shader here under your shaders you could see here for example there's uh, under your rage spline shaders there is a multi textured and I believe this is the one that you would want to use. So that is a quick run through with um, with texturing and texturing the fill, texturing the outline um, and you can of course do different combinations here uh, but we're not really going to cover every single one. So, but you pretty much have a fill and outline in your first material and you have a fill and outline in, in your second. So um, I hope you've enjoyed this uh, series of tutorials. Uh, you've picked up a few tips. Um, RateSpline's really incredible program. Uh, it's uh, very simple and easy to use. And you can see, especially now that we've gone through all of these different videos you can see how powerful and useful and flexible it is. So um, hope you enjoy using the program and hopefully uh, we'll see each other uh, again real soon in the future.